This is what seismic waves, which are waves caused by an earthquake, look like. What you see here are displacements, so the ground going up, red, and down, blue. These displacements are way too small to see or even feel for humans, but they can still be measured by sensitive detectors called seismometers. These waves were caused by an earthquake close to the coast of Northern California, and then spread out in all directions, much like water waves when you throw a stone in a pond. This is what it looks like when the waves from an earthquake in Mexico spread through the US. These seismic waves reached Europe from an earthquake literally half a world away, in Myanmar in Asia. There was a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake in late March of 2025, causing waves that could be detected around the globe, including in Europe. The big difference is that these waves did not run along the surface, but through the Earth. Surface waves lose their energy more quickly and are usually not detectable one continent away. But earthquakes also cause waves to run through the Earth, and we can measure them and then figure out how they must have run and at what speeds, which vary depending on the material. This gave us a lot of information about the interior of the Earth, like which part is liquid, which is solid, and what material everything must be made of. In fact, Almost everything we know about what's going on inside the Earth, we know due to seismic waves, because we cannot go there. And that really shouldn't be that surprising, because almost anything we perceive is due to waves. Whether it's seeing light waves or hearing sound waves, etc. Bum 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 waves. We wouldn't know shit without them. Boom. Subscribe for more physics and science stuff.